A lawsuit filed against Sean Diddy Combs accuses the music performer and executive of rape, physical abuse, and sex trafficking. The singer Cassie says the incidents occurred throughout her 10-year relationship with Combs. A lawsuit filed against Shadiddy Combs accuses the music performer and executive of rape, physical abuse, and sex trafficking. The singer Cassie says the incidents occurred throughout her 10-year relationship with Combs' hip-hop mogul Shadiddy. Combs has been accused of beating and sexually assaulting his ex-girlfriend and singer Cassie. Renowned within the realm of hip-hop Sean, Combs commonly recognized as Pity, has long held a prominent position as a mogul. However, recent revelations shed light on his reprehensible treatment of artists associated with bad boy accusations have been previously voiced by figures such as Kellis and Mace. But now Cassie has stepped forward taking legal action against him. The unfolding narrative reveals Diddy's persistent misconduct, providing insight into how he managed to evade accountability for mistreating individuals within his sphere. The exposure of his actions brings to the forefront a history marked by treachery and unethical behavior Diddy now faces the wraith of all of the artists who once used to be associated with bad boy records. And it is only a matter of time before push comes to shove. And Diddy has to pay up. Let's delve into the origins of the relationship between Cassie and Diddy. Casting our minds back to August 2006, Cassie released her anonymous album under the offices of Diddy's Bad Boy Records, where he served as both producer and contributed to a remix of her Hit Me and Ampu alongside rapper Young Jock's speculation about a romantic involvement between Diddy and Cassie surfaced in 2007. Coinciding with Cassie's role as the face of Diddy's fashion label, Shojin, despite public conjecture, the duo only officially acknowledged their relationship in 2012 choosing venues like Kanye West Paris Fashion Week show and Diddy's own Paris Fashion Week engagement. For such revelations, engagement rumors emerged in 2014. When Diddy posted then, promptly deleted an Instagram picture featuring a diamond ring, questioning Cassie's approval. However, their relationship faced turbulence in December 2015, resulting in a brief separation fast forward to 2018. When model Gina Hu disclosed details to the Jasmine brand, asserting her involvement with Diddy, while he was still romantic, romantically entangled with Cassie. In August 2016, Temmins reported a contentious altercation between Diddy and Cassie and Led, involving Diddy taking Cassie's phone. The incident led to a police report and a domestic incident report. I was in Vegas. Oh, you were, yeah. Yeah, oh, see, that's nothing. That's a good lie to say in Vegas. Let's go get married right now. There ain't nothing in Vegas. I mean, I got proposed to on the familial front. Diddy expressed a desire for more children during a 2017 interview on The Breakfast Club. Nevertheless, he and Cassie officially concluded head their relationship in 2018 with the public, becoming aware of the separation in October. Subsequently, Cassie entered into a relationship with her personal trainer, Hal Exbein as evidenced by an intimate Instagram post. In December 2018, surprising developments unfolded when Cassie and Alex announced their pregnancy and subsequent marriage. In September 2019, their first daughter, Frankie Fine, was born on December 6, 2019, followed by the arrival of another daughter, Sunny Fine. On March 22, 2021, the narrative takes a compelling turn as Cassie recently initiated legal action on Thursday, leveling serious accusations against Diddy, including allegations of rape, physical abuse, and pervasive control. During their time together, Diddy and Cassie swiftly concluded their legal dispute reaching a settlement merely a day after she levied serious accusations against him, including rape and sex trafficking, in a joint statement issued on Friday. The details of the resolution were kept confidential. Cassie expressed her intention to address the matter on her own terms, and Diddy, also known as in love, conveyed his well wishes with a touch of affection. The legal proceedings commenced on Thursday, 16th of November, 
When Cassie filed a lawsuit revealing a decade-long ordeal of alleged abuse and violence within her relationship with Diddy the rapper, vehemently denied the accusations portraying Cassie's actions as an attempt to extort him as discussions turned toward a settlement, Cassie's attorney, Douglas Wagner, commended her for publicly sharing her story. The lawsuit outlined severe allegations asserting that Diddy had raped and assaulted Cassie when she was 19, and he, he was 37. The legal document also detailed claims of substance abuse instigated by Diddy contributing to the disruption of Cassie's life. Diddy's lawyer, Benjamin Braffman, emphasized that agreeing to a settlement did not equate to an admission of guilt, maintaining the position of denial. Before the resolution, Cassie's legal representative countered alleging that Diddy had attempted to offer a substantial sum to silence her Cassie, however resisted expressing a desire to provide a voice for women grappling with similar issues in silence. Preceding the settlement, Diddy lawyer revealed that Cassie had demanded $30 million accompanied by a threat to disclose damaging details in a tell book about their relationship characterizing this as blatant blackmail. He dismissed the lawsuit as a collection of falsehoods. Did he wielded significant control over every facet of Cassie's life, assuming responsibility for her financial obligations, and even delving into her medical records? According to the lawsuit, Cassie underwent an MRI revealing memory loss, attributed to both Diddy's physical aggression and the drugs he allegedly compelled her to consume, notably in abundance of painkillers. Did he assume the role of her supplier, encouraging her to ingest these pills in 2016? Cassie attempted to sever ties with Diddy, leading to a tumultuous situation where law enforcement was summoned to their residence. Despite the severity of the circumstances, Cassie refrained from pressing charges, harboring genuine fear of Diddy's volatile nature. Following instances of physical altercation, Diddy would attempt to reconcile by showering her with extravagant gifts. However, the lasting impact of the harm inflicted evident in bruises prompted him to seclude her in hotels for recovery. The lawsuit divulges disturbing details of Diddy allegedly engaging in recurrent physical abuse against Cassie evoking parallels to a dynamic reminiscent of Ike and Tina Turner. Claims of mistreatment extend beyond Cassie, with references to Diddy's alleged abusive behavior towards other ex-partners, notably Kim Porter, as asserted by his former bodyguard Gandil rumors circulate that Diddy subjected Kim Porter to physical harm, hindering her ability to establish connections with other men. Similar pay patterns are suggested in his relationship with his baby mama, Misa Hilton. She she thought Puff was messing around. I guess like she started talking to the dude from EPMD. He came to see her and Puff, beat up till she got up under the beat her literally, till she tried to run up under the car. Diddy's self-centered actions extend to surprising lengths. Let's rewind to 2012, when Cassie and Diddy decided to take a break during this time. Cassie entered into a connection with rapper Kid Cutie, provoking an intense reaction from Diddy. His anger escalated to the point where he even issued threats to damage Kid Key's vehicle. In a bizarre turn of events, Kid Key's car did in fact experience an explosion in his driveway. Furthermore, whenever Diddy got wind of Cassie merely conversing with another man, he would aggressively confront the individual, subjecting both him and Cassie to physical harm. Diddy's behavior exhibits an alarming level of irrationality. Some individuals have gone as far as to label him as malevolent, and there may be some truth to it allegedly. Diddy has been orchestrating turmoil behind the scenes, prompting his recent rebranding as Lovecoms. It appears that he is attempting to salvage his public image, projecting an image of love, while concealing a darker and controlling side Cassie, having experienced the full spectrum of Diddy's behavior stands as a witness to these tumultuous episodes. A disconcerting video has surfaced featuring Diddy and Cassie, portraying a distressing scene where Cassie appears visibly distressed, 
and attempts to evade him the video raises serious concerns, prompting a call for scrutiny into the unsettling dynamics at play. What what you got to say now, what you got to say now, you ain't got to say when you put your girl on the snap baby I buy, I mean. Underscore underscore, getting weird come on baby, it's hot outside you. Underscore underscore, wrapped up in that blanket, let's go job on the music beach. The issues extend beyond physical altercations, as Diddy is accused of exploiting Cassie, involving her in arrangements with other male escorts. Shockingly, he purportedly derived pleasure from witnessing her interactions. With other men, the situation escalated with Cassie engaging in explicit activities, termed freak-offs for financial compensation, often in a compromised state. Disturbingly, Diddy allegedly documented these encounters, using the footage as a tool of coercion, threatening Cassie with exposure. If she sought legal recourse, attempting to break free from this tumultuous, a situation proved difficult for Cassie Diddy, described as a violent force utilized a network to isolate her from friends and family, instilling fear due to his perceived danger in 2018. He is accused of forcibly entering her apartment, and subjecting her to non-consensual acts. Even after Cassie managed to leave him, Diddy's behavior remained intrusive and obsessive. With attempts to monitor her activities, the broader narrative sheds light on the darker aspects of the entertainment industry, asserting that Diddy has evaded accountability.